everybody, it's me, Drew. So yeah, this is my first new video in Hey guys, I just watched some of this footage back after making this video, and I just want to say that I am sincerely so sorry for the mountain of sweat you're about to see develop on my face. If you want to turn the comment section into a roast battle for my face sweat, you can. I'll start it out with, I hope this kid just took a shower, because if not, I'm calling the police. Keep it going down there. It has been a while, and I wanted to talk to you guys about like where I was and why I left, but first I wanted to do something I'm more comfortable with, so today I went to the dollar store! Hell yeah. It's a Holland chat. Holland chat. That was the last song, I swear. No, it's not. Also, before I forget, I just want to say thank you so much to anyone who has ever subscribed to me because I have 1 million subscribers now and that is so cool and it's been like 11 years but I'm finally here. Or like thank you with a question mark to whoever bought me subscribers because I'm just saying and I'm not trying to like push a conspiracy theory here but they were coming in at like an alarming rate and I never make videos and my grandma like checks and she was texting me like 3,000, 4,000, you're getting close and I was just like what is going on? Like do I have a million subscribers now or do I have like a personal robot who's like Roombaing around the computer universe? Oh my, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I, why am I doing this. My heart just starts beating. Like, why can't I just accept something and be happy? This is the weirdest thank you ever. Thank you. Honestly, thank you for subscribing. It's too much. I want to thank anyone who subscribed to me because before now, because I'm going to make videos now, it was like a bad idea to subscribe to me. Like, I didn't make videos. Like, subscribing to me was like subscribing to like a magazine where like the editor was like a drunk and slept in every morning and like had depression or something. So we only made like one issue a year and you're just like, I paid for this. What's going on? That being said, you didn't pay for this. That being said, I did just take $20 out of your wallet and put it into my wallet e cyber electronically it's something you can do now try it go on omegle you can make real money this way also speaking of my life i bought these sunglasses for real they're not from the dollar store and i know what you're thinking they kind of look like they are but they're like ray-bans like i spent money on them and after like when i got them like you know when you're like confident at the glasses store because you're like i'm getting new glasses i'm sending selfies to my friend and the selfies never end but then like you get them and you're like wait these are the okay 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 like these are they're a little dumb let's be honest. they're a little dumb but, like i can wear these when i'm confident like when i'm confident when i'm having a good day i can like go down the street every car looking at me here they are but like when i am down when i'm depressed i like hide the i hide them like in my bed like i sleep on them they're under the mattress so no one ever sees them they're stupid people have been saying that my videos don't have enough bubbles in them so this bubble batch is for harry styles new album i hope i don't get too much bubble stuff on my bed right now because this is the bed that i sleep on harry thank you for taking risks this is for the ghost of Elvis Presley and everything he did for music. Jesus, no one cares anymore. Also, this I got, I was really excited about. It's called Flying Disc. I don't know if it takes like small batteries or there's like a port I'm missing for charging, but it doesn't fly. And I assumed it was like an Apple product because it has like a white label and I thought like everything would work for me like it always does, but like it's just, it, 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 do it doesn't fly. It just don't fly. This is actually um, an advertisement for the new Spider-Man coming out. Sorry, I have to do this. Christ, they told me to brand myself for real. <laughs> Go see Spider-Man, bitch! Also, yeah, I painted my nails. This has been a way bigger part of my life than I thought it would be. Like, I thought of it just like a normal thing. Like, oh, I decorated my phone case and I painted my nails. But like, people are shocked. Like, in public, everyone is looking at me. People are looking me up and down. Like, they look at me like I literally, like I did something. Like, I have a Nazi flag, like, on the back of my shirt. And they, like, don't want to confront me. But they, like, want to tell me with their eyes that, like, that is not okay, sir. Like, they're just... Like these kids at Best Buy the other day, literally like 21, maybe 25 years old, three of them just looking me up and down like it was their mission. Like they wanted, I was just like, what is it? What is it? Do you want a fucking picture? Like what? I know I'm ranting right now. That was like emotional. That like had something to do with my dad. I don't know. Happy Father's Day, by the way. I'm filming this last night. So if you're wondering how I'm doing, I'm sweating and this is from the night before. But like some people are not okay with it. And I never really was thinking about it in terms of like my gender or like what it says about me or what people think it makes me represent. Like, 
like, does that mean that I'm a different gender or does it mean that I'm gay or does it mean I'm coming out as something? But it's just like fun for me. Like I wanted to do it when I was a kid and I want to do it now and I've always been kind of scared and I used to only do one finger, but just like fuck it. Like literally Donald Trump is the president. What am I going to do besides do what I want to do and not give a fuck what people say? Also gender, my thoughts on it, just if you're curious. Literally, what is it in the first place? It's fake. Literally, whatever you want to do, I'm going to call you that and you are going to be called that. And if people are like, oh, that's my Trump one because of transgender bathrooms. Fuck off! I wanted to show you my bibs. I literally got like five bibs. The people in the store must have been like, how many fucking babies does this kid with the nail polish have? I think because they're so funny. Literally this one just says daddy drive. Just daddy drive and a car. Like what does that mean? Daddy drive. Or like we're going on a daddy drive. What's a daddy drive? Does daddy sing the radio? I don't know. Daddy drive. This bib literally just says grandma sweetie on it. What does that mean grandma sweetie? For who? Is that the nickname for the baby grandma? No, it sounds like she has gray hair. It's a baby sweetie, not a grandma sweetie. Does anyone call their, I've only met one person in the entire world who calls their grandma Grandma Sweetie, and that's my friend Jacob Sweetie, because his grandma's name is Irene Sweetie. Oh, I also want to talk about what's to come, so I am going to keep making videos. I'm posting another video on Thursday with my grandma, yay, so there are videos to come, and I also have a music video coming out that we're shooting next week. My friend Shane is directing it, and I made a song. These are called Party Sunglasses. I don't know what kind of parties you guys go to, but I go to the parties where I'm like kind of Kanye West and like kind of a cutie little Hello Kitty, or the parties where I'm like just straight up all the time queen. This I thought would be fun. These are little price tags and I thought I could give my body parts different prices based on how much I like my body parts. I'm going to give my left tit $2 because I think it deserves a $2 bill. Like not $2, but a $2 bill. So like it's worth like $20, but $2. Honestly, I'm putting make offer for my right tit because I don't even know what to do with this thing. It's like weird. It's out there. It's convoluted. That's a big word, but just like let me know what you're thinking and I'll get back to you. 25 cents for my belly button because it's kind of like a vending machine if you pop in a quarter baby. You got a gumball. And 10 cents for each ass cheek, just cause I'm like OCD like that. <laughs> this says friend forever. Just kind of sweet. Like why is it only one, why is it singular? One friend in case the other one dies, just friend. I'm a friend. I'm gonna be a friend forever. Doesn't matter what happens to Jack. I'm a friend forever. This is so sweet. I just wanna show this cause I love this movie. It says you need to make your mark. I'm literally gonna put this up at my desk. I saw this movie, The Good Dinosaur with Jesse Smiles. I think it was a date, but anyway, it was such a good movie. And if you've never seen it, honestly go to Redbox and watch The Good Dinosaur. I love The Good Dinosaur. This is something I think is appropriate because my YouTube channel has been closed for so long. Why don't we open it? Oh, I, for I forgot that I didn't like tape it up. That's kind of a metaphor for my channel, actually. This is called Henny Penny. I don't need to read it. It's just, I just need to know that it's called Henny Penny. Henny Penny. Before you go to bed, you want to read Henny Penny? Henny Penny, the best book ever. I love Henny Penny. Anyway, YouTube, if anyone still is watching this, I'm just going to talk. Um, I totally like left the internet completely for like six, five or six months, I think. Um, when Trump became president, I kind of just became confused with the world and my place in it and what I should talk about. And I just kind of chickened out and I was like, I didn't say anything. And I don't really know what to say still. I can say what charities to donate to. There's a charity called the Reproductive Health Access Project that I really like donating to. And you guys should donate to too if you like them and check them out. There's a link down there and that's the link. But yeah, I don't really know what to do. And I also just kind of, it kind of feels like, you know when there's like a sitcom and they end it and they're kind of like, like Parks and Rec, they're like, we want to end like when people still wanted us to keep going and like get out on top and like not like get old like that's kind of how I feel not that like I'm a sitcom or like I'm comparing my videos or like my brain to a sitcom though there is a mommy and daddy quipping at each other inside of my noggin at all times it's annoying they're always snapping back I don't know it just kind of feels like when people are watching my videos still and sometimes they stop watching my videos and that's always the fear that people are going to stop caring but if you just go when they're watching it's like you can't fucking stop I stop and I don't know I have a lot of anxiety around making videos and I just completely had a terrible mental pattern and there was always breakdowns with making videos but yeah I left the internet and I'm here now and I don't really know how to explain it it's just kind of scary to make videos sometimes it's kind of scary to be in the public eye especially when the world feels like it's kind of on fire yeah I'm a little all over the place but I want to make videos and I'm ready to keep making videos now and keep watching videos because I'm gonna make another video this week and it's gonna keep happening and yeah baby yeah we did it I hope this was okay I hope this wasn't weird I hope I wasn't too sweaty. This is the part that I filmed where I was talking about how sweaty I literally, I feel so embarrassed. I, my camera died while I was making the end of that video and I was like, oh, I'll see how it worked out. Literally, so just, I was like, oh 
No, it happened again, but literally it's like 8.30 o'clock and I'm uploading tomorrow morning like strict. Yeah, so thank you for watching this long. If you did, literally, I know there's people that have never seen my channel before and we're like, this kid's gross. But I don't know, I'm, if anyone has any tips for what to do, I know there's like, there's actually stuff you can get that's like for makeup that like makes you sweat less. I'll do that next time. I didn't think it would be so bad. That was meant to be cute, but it was kind of sad, but it was kind of true. I mean, maybe you're not, maybe you have like so many more friends than me and like, it's fine. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm on the phone with someone I haven't talked to for a while and I don't know how to say bye. My phone died, by the way, when I was, my camera died when I was making that. I can't finish this video. Let's finish. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you're watching this right now, I would just want to say to you, thank you. And I'm thinking of you right now in this moment and I'm giving you peace. I know that sounds weird and like kind of corny, but like I'm trying. Like if you need it, like here's some peace. Take a breath. Goodbye.